Our presenter today is Larry Boyd. Larry has decades of experience in applying valve technology in power plants as well as other industrial environments. Larry, who is located in the Kentucky area, has worked with valve technicians and plant maintenance supervisors to assist in educating their personnel on maximizing valve performance in typical power plant applications. So at this time, I'd like to pass the presentation to Larry. Good afternoon. How is everybody today? <clears throat> the purpose of our webinar today is to share some basic knowledge of valve designs and their attributes and the related applications for their use. Uh, we will also talk about valve nomenclature and valve codes and more items that are related to this topic. <clears throat> okay, our agenda is shown right here. We're going to discuss valve codes and their ratings. We're going to discuss valve metallurgy and the differences between linear valves and rotary valves, the attributes of those. Uh, we'll have a section on valve leakage rates. Also touch on an installation guideline for uh, welded in valves, either socket weld or butt weld valves. Uh, also going to touch on automated valves, and we're going to close with control valves, which are a little more complex, and also uh, finish up with valve uh, control valve positioners and where the technology is today on that. Okay, valve codes. Uh, this is going to be uh, discuss the nomenclature that we see a lot, both on the on the castings of valve bodies. We're going to see them in, in valve specs written out. They're going to be uh, on tags, and uh, sometimes uh, we don't always know what these what these codes mean or what the nomenclatures mean. So that's what uh, this is going to address. CWP is the first one, and that stands for cold working pressure. Uh, this normally would be also shown in a spec or can be also stamped on the side of a valve. And uh, this regards uh, the, the use of the pressure rating of that valve only up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, usually right b underneath that uh, or, or with that code, you would see WOG, and that stands for water, oil, or gas. Notice the one thing that is omitted from that is steam. It doesn't mean it cannot be used for steam. It just means whatever pressure rating is in front of the WOG, typically it would be something like 200, which would stand for 200 PSIG for water, oil, or gas. Okay, usually right below that, also probably in the, built into the casting of the valve or in the specification, you will see WSP. And that typically is a lower number than the, the water, oil, or gas number because you have an accelerated temperature and, uh, and it's not rated for just as, as high a pressure. Typically, I, just an example, uh, on, a, on a lower pressure valve, bronze and iron, uh, uh, cast iron gate valves, you'd see 200 WOG, and right underneath it, you'd see 125 WSP, so that means it would be good for 125 pounds of steam. API is the American Petroleum Institute, and this is not uh, real related to the power industry, but it is a valve code that's prevalent in the industry, uh, mainly uh, is addressing fire testing designs. Uh, a lot of the valves now, most of them have to be approved to be used in, um, in refineries or in chemical plants that have highly explosive or, or uh, what they call explosion-proof areas. An API is actually the code that addresses uh, a valve being fire tested so that if a fire were to break out, it doesn't mean that the valve won't have some leakage through it if it's exposed to a fire after a period of time, but it will not leak enough to contribute to the fire, and that's, that's what that code stands for. Okay, HF, that is, uh, especially in the power industry, you will see the trim of the valve is usually what's done what's called hard-faced, and that usually means if a valve, for example, is made of carbon steel, the, uh, the disc and the seat inside the, the valve would be uh, usually a 400 grade uh, of stainless steel, uh, that, something of that nature, but then to even harden it up even more to protect the trim from erosion and velocities, uh, they will actually weld on an overlay of, of most commonly stellite, but there's even uh, tungsten, car uh, tungsten carbide is also uh, put on there, too, for hardness. So there's a couple different materials they use for that. But that's what the, the HF stands for when you see that in the trim. 
ASME is the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. They are one of the governing bodies that regulates the pressure and temperature ratings of, of, uh, and the valve codes. So if you have a valve that is a 1,500-pound rated, uh, they, def they are part of writing that valve code. We'll see that a little bit later. ANSI actually works together with uh, ASME. That's the American National Standard Institutes. And you'll hear that term, ANSI 150, ANSI 1500. Again, those are the, uh, the two organizations that govern the, the pressure temperature ratings the valves are used in the industry. MSS is not as common a term, but uh, it stands for Manufacturing Standardization Society. Uh, that is an organization that tries to uh, show that the consistency of products that are built uh, meet the standard uh, for, uh, for use in the applications that were uh, you know, in the power industry or any other industry. The last one here is ASTM. This is the American Society for Testing Materials. These are the people that govern the, um, the actual metals and the grade of metals that are, are going to the valve. And they produce the formulas and the amount of material or type of metal that consists of of uh, whatever that is. For example, uh, we're going to go into one a little bit later. It's, it's called um, uh, WC9, which actually is a chrome moly type body. So they determine how much chromium and how much moly goes in and how much is carbon steel. And if it doesn't meet those percentages, then uh, it's not up to their standards and does not meet their grades. OK, pressure ratings, confusion. Uh, there's a lot of people that, that think that uh, if they have a uh, application for 150 psi, for example, that, that at, um, uh, they can only use it up to 150 pounds of pressure. In reality, is the ANSI code for that for 150 pound class valve, you actually can go up to 285 psi in the line and be totally acceptable. However, it is totally related to the temperature also going through the pipeline. In this case, 100 degrees is the bottom standard for that. Uh, it's actually minus 20 to plus uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. As the temperature goes up, and we'll see this in a chart in the following slide, the pressure rating degrades and goes down as the temperature goes up. But in this particular application, you can see you can actually go up to 285. For an ANSI 300-pound class valve, you actually can go up to 740 at 100 degrees F. And you can see as these fill in down here how the actual pressure ratings uh, uh, are actually a lot higher than, than what the ANSI rating is. So, so this is a way, and, and the reason this is important is that um, <clears throat> you potentially, every time you get one of these higher pressure valves, you go up a stage, the price usually goes up. And potentially uh, availability might, might uh, increase or might, excuse me, be uh, extended so you would have trouble getting that valve with a higher pressure rating. So check, your, uh, check what your, exactly what your media and what your application is. And potentially, you could use a lower rated valve here if, if you actually knew what the true conditions were. OK, I mentioned before that the uh, ASME and the AN or the ANSI people uh, are, uh, control the actual uh, codes for that. And the, the most recent one, and they, they do upgrade these every so often, over so many years, but the latest one is in 2009, and it's ASME. B16.34 for valves, flange, threaded, and welding ends, which usually is the ones that would be involved with in the power industry. This is just an example of what one of the charts looks like. Uh, this particular one is the lower class valves, 150 up through 800 for carbon steel. And you can, I mentioned earlier <clears throat> for the uh, class 150 that you could use 285 PSI at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see how that pressure rating degrades as you get up in the temperature there. So it's, it's a, it is a sliding scale. This is a, another chart that shows the higher pressures, which you typically would see in the power industry. Uh, power plants usually operate a lot with a 1,500-pound class and 2,500-pound class, and uh, sometimes even with a 4,500-pound class, depending on, on the type of plant it is. Uh, this is uh, F, grade F22 is very typical for uh, the chrome moly bodies that are used in the forged high pressure forged steel valves that are used in power plants. So again, it's, it's, if you don't have one of these charts, I can supply these to you if you'd like. If you want to contact me, I can uh, send you an email that has that information. <clears throat>